Good morning, I'm Jane. Thanks for stopping in. I'm waiting to go to a museum to an art gallery here, so I just thought I'd just slip a message here by and share what happened to me this week. And um, it's not something I was in a big hurry to share because it's, um, it's esoteric, it's nebulous, it's not real. Um, defined um, and and especially because it came from a dream dreams are colorful and they're lucid and they um, travel uh, through your subconscious and so I'm not real um, I'm not real confident uh, to hold them up in terms of being um, a, a truth or you know a prophetic message uh, but uh, sometimes I think dreams are useful. This one happened to be one that um, I was even not only um, unprepared to share because of its content, but um, I, I just wasn't so sure uh, if I could interpret it properly to even to, to share um, in, in the dream sense. But I'll tell you about the dream and then I'll tell you about where it went. The morning of January 2nd, I woke up suddenly to a very startling and very uh, scary dream, okay? And it wasn't a nightmare like you think. It was a, it was a shocking vision. And it was a city being blown up. There was a, v a very, very large city being blown up and I was seeing it way from a distance, probably at least 25 miles away. It was that large and I was not harmed in any way in the dream, but the explosion was very bright and the color of it was just your typical fire and brimstone. And out of this, this explosion that erupted, was the body of someone that flew up into the air as if the reaction to the explosion was um, traumatic. So I, I woke up and I, and, I, and I started to pray. I was so upset about it and so stressed and afraid for the the meaning of it if there was any chance that I was seeing something that was uh, going to happen I, w I needed to know about it just for my own peace of mind and then who knows if I needed to warn someone but the thing is I, I've not ever been in the military I, I don't know anything about weaponry or bombs so I went to prayer and I asked the Lord Lord why did you have me see that dream? Why would I have to see that? What purpose was there for that? I mean, where was that bomb sent? What city was that that blew up? If you need me to know, I mean, if there's any reason I'm supposed to know where this bomb came from, will you help me know? <clears throat> so he helped me survey and it ended up through prayer that um, I was told that it was in Utah, which is so weird that I, I said, Lord, where did this bomb come from? You know, was it Washington? Was it Colorado? Was it Nebraska? Where did this bomb, where was it sent from? And he gave me peace with the answer, Utah. So I'm thinking, okay, Utah. <clears throat> and where was it being sent? And I was sure he told me Omaha. And I'm thinking <clears throat> Omaha is off at air base. That's terrible, you know, like a bomb out of Utah. I mean, they have testing there. They have nuclear testing and I don't know much about it, but um, off at air base I know is um, a safe space. My dad was actually base there in the Air Force. So I know a little about off at Air Base and we, I lived in Lincoln forever. So I'm, I'm wondering, wow, you know, 
what am I supposed to go knock on the Pentagon door and, and tell them that, you know, I just have this inkling that the Lord is telling me that there is a bomb being sent out of Utah uh, to Offutt Air Base. And I, I, I prayed and I said, Lord, that's ridiculous. There's no way I'm supposed to have this information. There's more to it. There is more to it. Is it someone in Utah that's causing disruption or uh, is destructive? Is it someone? And I'm right, right away, I'm thinking Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney out of Utah. He's a troublemaker. Now, I don't like to get too political here because I don't know what I'm saying, but I know he's a troublemaker, he's mouthy, and he never supported Donald Trump. So then I'm thinking, he, he is... He is going to try to destroy Donald Trump. He is going to say some things that are going to be destruct destructive, and many people could be if affected. And it's you know that's a shame that he's going to get on the podium down there in Utah or wherever he's governor at, and he's going to say something, and it's going to be uh, insulting to our president. And I just know it. And that's where, it, that's where I thought it was going to end, but wasn't sure. Okay, here's where it gets real strange. Last night then, two nights later, I'm at dinner with my husband, and we're waiting to be seated. The waitress has given us a place to wait, and we're waiting for our number to be called. And I'm talking to my husband, and I'm like, uh, I, I didn't really want to share this news about the bomb with my husband because he is skeptical. Oh man, he is skeptical. Everything's a conspiracy with him. But I shared it and I told him that I think Mitt Romney's really, really going to criticize our, our president. Um, and he's going to say some things that's going to be very destructive and um, be insulting. And you know, he said, oh my gosh, he was just reinstated yesterday. He was instated yesterday as a senator in Washington and he was on the news he was on the news he said a bunch of stuff about the president that was not uh, complimentary and I mean the blood just ran it drained out of my face it just drained out of my face I'm like you are kidding me what did he say my husband verbatim told me everything he said I'm like yep that's what God told me somebody out of Utah is going to try to destroy President Trump's safe space. Offutt Air Base is a safe space for the military. There's bunkers uh, all over under there, and um, it's our defense. And um, look out, Mitt Romney. You are not coming to Washington to make trouble for our president. He'll never hear this. He'll never hear this Utah, uh, YouTube video that I'm you know, saying here. But um, it's, it's our, our Congress and our Senate have done nothing but um, make very, very stressful uh, engagements and um, accusations. I mean, with the, the Russian probe, and it's been nonstop. You know, unless you were in a cave, you, you don't know anything about this. But um, we need to pray for our leaders. Our leaders are there, appointed by God. We voted them in. In James, in the Bible, verse 4, 10, chapter 4, verse 10, it says, Humble yourselves before the Lord, and He will lift you up. He will lift you up if you're humble. And then in Mark, chapter 10, verse 42 through 45, it talks about uh, Jesus gathering His disciples together and he talks about how the, gen the Gentiles are lorded over by authority. Lorded over. It's not a complimentary thing. And, and the Gentiles being lorded over by authority. But that they will have a leader who is, is Jesus Christ our Lord. Who will be humble and a servant. Our government needs to serve the people and not lord authority over us and be corrupt. Amen. Have a good day. Bye-bye.